Hey everyone and welcome to the final Ark Survival Evolved video with Jesse Gamers. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, do a few things for you today. We're going to have a few features of our friends. Uh, we're going to show our dinosaurs that were our favorite and some other things. So let's go ahead and get to it. video that we're about to record is mainly for Jesse and I to look back on later and also for our friends that we have made on this game we're not looking for views on this it's just for uh, us for memories and for our friends we want to go ahead and say that uh, we have enjoyed playing this game even though we have had the problems of crashing and uh, not being able to play some of the time. Uh, a lot of the problems that we've had is due to uh, some of the incompatibility issues with Jesse's phone uh, but uh, also some of the lagging issues. We're not sure really if that's part of the game or, or what. But uh, we have enjoyed the game for the most part, even though it's made us want to rage quit and throw our phones across the room. But we want to explain that we're not quitting because we really want to. We're quitting because we basically pretty much have to. Until Jesse can actually get a new phone, until I can get some time to get on here. Um, it's gotten to where I can't get on but once a day to basically just feed the tames. Uh, we can't really play the game and enjoy it anymore. The game is is moving faster than we can actually play it. So it, we've decided that um, because of that, we're going to have to stop playing until further notice. Um, I'm going to be looking into playing on the Xbox and seeing if I can record. This is not a promise. It's just um, a possibility. And until then... Um, I will let you know on social media if that happens, maybe in another video. But for now, we're going to show our favorite dinosaurs. Okay, the first person that I'm going to go ahead and introduce here is Mr. Nick because he really wants to be in the video here. He keeps on putting that gun up in, <laughs> in my face. But, um... Jesse is gonna start. I'm gonna let her start. Okay, before I get into my teams, uh, there's one team that's missing. Um, her name was Harley Quinn. Uh, we did, me and uh, Danielle were uh, trying to wrap uh, names before we started YouTube and before we started recording. Um, when we got Joker and her, um, we were kind of debating on what we wanted to do, so we thought, well, let's just stick with some comic names. So we had a Joker, and then we came up with the Harley Quinn because I like her, but we just kind of came up with it. And she was one of our good Quetzals. She was really a good bird all around. I, I was really attached to her, but unfortunately, sadly, she ended up dying from uh, random stuff spawning in the base. No, and we were fairy bomb. I mean, yeah, we were fairy bomb. It, it, it was a really sad day when she died. We were fairy bomb. Yeah, well, we were fairy bomb, so to speak. But, well, yeah, which, it was a really if, sad day, so. If you're not familiar about that, it's where people pick up fairy, fairies and drop them in your base. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> so, yeah, that's why uh, Harley is not here. Sadly, but uh, all my other favorites are in front of you. Uh, this is Truffle. Um, I think we found her before we moved or after we moved here. Um, she was one of my many favorite turtles that I grew attached to. Um, I came up with uh, Danny and I kind of racked our brains when it comes to names, so we came up with Truff. Uh, so yeah, it's one of my favorite turtles. Uh, Core the tripod I came up with. <laughs> um, I was looking at some random, uh, sorry, I keep hitting this button. Uh, I keep, I looked up some random names you would call a, a trike and I saw the name Cora was uh, interesting, but then I wanted to kind of put something in front of it, so I went with Core the tripod. So. 
because she has three horns. So I just went with that, and that was, she's one of my favorite ones that I uh, grew attached to in the game. Uh, she really was, didn't have really much of a particular use, um, but she was just one of my many fun ones to have, and plus we used her eggs for stuff too, so. Um, the next one is Ivy. Um, Ivy has a twin. Um, her twin is around here somewhere. Um, I'll mention anyway, him in a minute. Uh, is the one that uh, is her twin. We ended up with twins when we were uh, making the Quinchels, so Daddy got one of the twins and I got the other twin. And we came, I came up with Ivy because she was already green to begin with, but we kind of put a different type of color green in there because the green that she had was kind of ugly. <laughs> <laughs> It, it, it was a little ugly. Daddy can say that for sure because she didn't like hers that way. She ended up dying hers a different color too. So, <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, she was one of the first quintals that we uh, did both did, and she was one of those ones that we just that I just grew attached to. Um, she was one of the ones that I first raised. We did try uh, this before, but it. It kind of failed, so this is like one of our many first success on breeding, and I just came. Uh, we just uh, came up with Ivy, and I grew attached to her ever since. This is Boxer. Um, I had Edward before Boxer. Edward and Boxer were both my favorites, but I grew attached to Boxer more than I did Edward. Um, Boxer is a good kangaroo. I've always liked kangaroos. Uh, I think they're cute. Um, I think they've always been cute. Um, he didn't really have much of a particular purpose, at least for us. I mean, he could get stuff, but he just didn't really have much of a purpose. He was just kind of like more just one of the, our, our favorite little animals to have around just for the heck of it. Uh, but yeah, this Boxer was one of my favorite kangaroos. Um, Looney Loon, which is Luna, um, I came up with that one because the, uh, the name inspired me from a YouTuber who named her, uh, Rabbit Luna, and I just always liked the name, so I named her Luna, and I call her Looney Loon because she's crazy and likes to walk off and without one of us on there. <laughs> she, like, has a mind of her own. Sometimes, so I call her Looney Loon because she's crazy. Uh, but yeah, I grew attached to her too. And Ribbita was one of the first shrubs that we got. Um, it took uh, Daniel a while to get a hold of Ribbita, but uh, we finally got her. Or him. It's her. Yeah, her. <laughs> it's her. <laughs> um, we finally got her, and we've been having fun with it. Um, she also doesn't really have much of a particular use other than they're just really good swimmers and they have and they're really good at uh, killing bugs they like make normal it. toads do. Bugs. Whoops. Um. Whoops. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? Looney Loon has a bite there, oh, y'all. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, she, Ribbit is a good frog. She's good at jumping pretty high places. Um, good swimmer all in all. She killed bugs, uh, so that's a good thing. But other, apart from that, she's really not much of a use other than she's just one of the many pets that we had. Um, I'm going uh, to this one above my head. I'm going to have to stop. I have to stop you. What? Okay. Frogs can make cement and paste when they kill bugs oh yeah I forgot they do they do make cement when they kill bugs I forgot about that part okay now carry on yeah oh uh, this big one um, in front of us and Danny can chime in with this one because this one has something to do with her too cause um Gigo Please and, and Gigo Twan were our first Gigos that we had on here um uh we uh, were got, trying to come up with names, and I ended up naming her Giga, Gigatron, and she ended up naming mine Giga Please because it was just something funny. 
it was just like a really funny type of thing. Uh, so that's where Giga Police came from, and ever since then, I grew attached to her, not just because her name's hilarious, it's just because she was really pretty, and um, it, it, it was just, it's just all around funny name. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, she was one of my favorite kids. <laughs> the origin of Giga Police, uh, I actually got from uh, one of my favorite YouTubers. Yeah. That's that's where it came from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's where Giga Police's name came from, and then... Gigatron I got from the movie Tron, so we just like with Gigatron. Uh, yeah, they her and him were the first two diggers we had on here. Which uh that's why we got that's why we got attached to Giga Please a lot. So it was hard when uh we uh I think we gave Gigatron out, didn't we? I decided to give Gigatron away uh, because we got better gigas. And I gave him to James, and yeah. somehow Gigatron died. Uh-oh. Yeah, Gigatron and Giga, these are our first ones, so we got attached to him, but we got, like she said, we got rid of him and gave him to some, one of our allies, and sadly he's not here, but uh, we both grown, I, I can say we both grown attached to Giga, please, actually, to be honest. Gigatron so, was purple. It, it's kind of nice. <laughs> Sorry. So that's all my favorites. After you, lady. Um, alrighty. Oh, let's see, where we can we start? I'll start the front row. Um. Go ahead and put this torch out. So I'm going to start with uh, Miss Bama here. Okay. This this bird actually originally belonged to uh, a friend of ours that no longer plays. Uh, I I got really really attached to this bird because she whoops she got she has really good stats and um, her color scheme uh, matches my favorite football team. So uh, she just I don't know. There's something about it. Even though it's just a freaking game, it's just, it's just something about it. But anyway, um, I got I really like these two. They're the highest level um, unicorns that we had, and I liked them. That was that was part of why they were my favorite. Unfortunately, I didn't get to uh, know them that long, but I loved the unicorns on this game, so I couldn't not put them in here. <laughs> Uh, the reason why I wanted to put the ra raptor on here is not because it's the raptor. It's simply because of the name of the raptor. It's Forrest. Forrest is a good friend of mine and Jesse's. And um, I felt like he needed to be on here. Forrest actually used to play the game. But unfortunately, he had the same issue Jesse had. Uh, his phone was just... Com almost completely incompatible with the game. He couldn't play but no more than maybe five, five, ten minutes before his phone would shut off from getting overheated. Uh, this bear we have had since literally we started playing. We, when we were able to tame yeah. bears, uh, we tamed Oreo. And he has been with us since then. He's been like the cuddliest and cutest little thing. And he's been, actually been the only black bear that we have ever been able to find. So I've never been able to get rid of him. Um, it was uh, Oreo and Sassy Pants. Right. We, uh, we found somebody to take Sassy Pants because we were getting over full of tames. And we had another bear that was, uh, which is over there, um, which is Pumpkin. She had better stats than Sassy Pants, so we had to part with Sassy Pants. Um, this is Leonardo. I don't know why, but Jesse and I, for some reason, had the uh, bond with these turtles. They were just fun, fun to ride. They're quick. 
and the way they like shake when you ride them is just friggin' adorable. <laughs> it is. It's freaking adorable and hilarious. Yeah. You gotta have like a waddle to them. So, <laughs> so, uh, that's one of the reasons why we kind of, I was kind of attached to him. Um, he was actually an orange color. I dyed him red. Yeah. Um, uh, Grogo has also been one of the longest members of our tribe and i he's like been one of my favorites can't part with him he's uh it's gonna be kind of sad to see see him go but um he finally got him a girlfriend i think he was happy <laughs> uh dolly yeah, Huh? Interrupt you or anything. I don't mean to interrupt you or anything, but wasn't Grogo the one that we had before we moved here? Yeah, Grogo we have had um, since we were at the base where Nick lives. Yeah. Um. Dolly. Reason why I'm actually attached to her is because I raised her, and she was so tiny. I mean, she was adorable, and it reminded me of a baby chick. Like, and I see where we live, we actually raise chickens, so it reminded me of a chicken. And I could not pass it up, so I, I, that's why I've kept her. I haven't been able to part with her. Slim Shady, uh, I've kept her for so long, and the origin of her name is because for some reason I was on TikTok. And I got the song by uh, Eminem, Slim Shady, stuck in my head. And you, they have that slim build. And they run so fast, it's like they leave their shadow behind. So Slim Shady came to mind whenever I named her. So Slim Shady, it was. <laughs> yeah, I remember that day. You couldn't stop singing it, too. And I turned around <laughs> and I had a gold man in my face. <laughs> 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 okay, so the back row. Okay, this was Joker. Joker is my favoritest, 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 if favoritest was a word. Q of all time. Um, his was Car Harley Quinn's boyfriend. And he did not protect her. He should be ashamed of himself, but it is what it is. <laughs> Uh, this is my just my heart and soul on this game. He he's been here through thick and thin and everything else since we've been able to have him. I mean, I don't know what else to say about him other than that he's just the best quetzal anybody could ever have. His stats are great. Yeah. Um, and then right here is Enemy, which if you heard Jesse talking, he is the twin brother to Ivy. Um, and he is also the same reason with Dolly. Uh, I kind of can't not put him here because I raised him. Thunder, I've had her for a very, very long time. Um, I did not tame her. He was given to me by another friend. Or she was given to me by another friend. And um, she was high level then. She has always been my meat grabber. And I, I don't think I'll ever be able to find one as, as unique coloring as she is. <coughs> Excuse me. And then here's Grape. Um... He belonged to another friend of ours that had quit the game. Uh, very unique coloring. He was raised by one of uh, our two gigas, or t by two of our gigas, by f the friend. Um, we no longer have the dad, but this was the the mom was right there. Yeah, Giga Please was his mom, and that's why he is here. So, um, those are going to be our tanks. We're going to put them back up and we're going to do a flyover of our base real quick.
And here's our final flyover. Bittersweet final flyover. <laughs> With uh, Nick. This is like take 9,554. Um, we have <laughs> we have flew around the island like five times. No joke. And the game keeps uh, crashing my recording software. Go ahead and take off here. Uh, the first memory is is right off here. Um, right over here. I don't know if I can't even remember now, but uh, Boygan and Chuffa actually lived right there at the mouth. They lived here before we did, and it was actually accidental that we moved here. Um, and I'll explain later. Um, when we moved, when we moved here, we were friends with Boygan and Chuffa already, but uh. They had moved. They lived next to us when we lived where Nick and, and uh, White lived and Blue. We moved there because we were looking for an area that was closer to the ocean. We were wanting ocean canes, and we wanted somewhere that was closer to snow, and it was also closer to the volcano. And uh, but but still closer. We were just wanting somewhere that was closer to everything. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. it, it was starting, that was whenever we realized things were starting to get harder to get on here. Little did we realize we were moving right next door to our friends again. But they lived right here. So we're going to go ahead and move on. We're going to go up here to snow. I'm going to try and stay on here as long as I can. Um, right up here at the vol the, the volcano, the waterfall. Um, if you followed me on my single player for a while, whenever I was able to play that, this is where I lived on there. I, I liked the area because it was real pretty. At the time, I didn't realize how laggy it was going to be and how loud it was going to be. Plus, um, I had issues with raptors and stuff coming up. I had to keep uh, the tames in a box. I didn't know what I was going to build and for something at that time, and then I wound up building it. Just go ahead and move yeah. on through here. So the first time that uh, I remember that I ever came to snow was, um, and matter of fact, I think it was on that little island, matter of fact, there was a pack of wolves that was always right there. And a girl named Inca and her tribe came to my, Jesse and mine face, or mine and Jesse had everyone was that. And I think she was just flying by or something. I don't know why she stopped by. And she noticed that we were building, we were just starting out. We did not talk to anybody. We were always so skeptical of talking to people because we played another game, and it was actually where me and Jesse met, met called uh, Pies of the Caribbean Tides of War. And people were so mean on there, like ruthless mean. So we were skeptical, skeptical of talking to people on games. And uh, she asked me if I wanted to go to the snow to tame a wolf. And at first, I didn't really want to, but I was like, yeah, okay, I'll go. 
I came up here and right off I died because I was like level 10. And I came back and she she had already tamed the wolf for me and she gave me the wolf. She helped me back and uh, I kept that poor wolf about a week. Named her Ash. Won't ever forget that wolf. And she uh, she died because of Brano. Uh, got in and stomped all of our tames to death. Uh, that was when we found out we needed to build walls around our base. Yeah. Uh, Jesse and Jesse and I have never really looked up stuff. We've basically taught everything, taught ourselves everything on the game. Very very few times have we looked stuff up for this game. Here and there we yeah. have. Right. Like most people, I believe, uh, where Jesse and I first started was down in the very south. And uh, we didn't even know this on the logo, the, the A, what the obelisks represented on there. We didn't realize the colors were the same thing. Um, right now, this kind of has a blue hue, hue to it now that we're kind of closer to it. Sometimes it looks white. It really depends on the time of the day on the game. And, but way down there, and they actually have redone the color into the game back then. We thought it was white. And for the longest, I thought it was white because it was snow. We didn't know it was blue. Yeah. We flipped. Over a certain distance, it looked white. Yeah. And even when you go into it, it looks white. And then when you get closer, it looks blue. Yeah. Me and Jesse decided we wanted to venture off and just kind of like check out the blue obelus for the first time we found out that it was blue and we flipped out yeah we were like wow really this thing is blue we were like, okay. <laughs> and and then that was when i realized the logo had that blue and i was like well that's what that means the because i didn't understand the colors i didn't realize that that was representing the three obelus um right up here at this waterfall if I can get up there Joker don't have on his gold collar right now so he's kind of slow um, right in this location right here uh, this is where we seen our first Giga we were actually riding on our tape and i dipped down a little low because because uh i didn't realize how powerful they were and we almost got bit yeah we almost became a uh, giga gibble jesse wanted to kiss it yeah like all those snakes want to kiss me and uh and like the centipedes want to kill you too. <laughs> Jesse, don't try to say the kitten snakes want to kiss you. You know you want to kiss them snakes. <laughs> um, oh, man. Right up here oh. is another location. Um, was a, one of our friends. He had he had his own little tribe. I'm not sure if he owned it or if, or if his tribe mate owned it. But, um... I got a land right up here. He messaged us because he was in, he needed help. And I was like, well, yeah, I'll help you. He's like, well, how do you kill a Giga? I said, well, I don't know. He's like, well, there's a Giga near my base and it's coming towards me. I s and I didn't really know what to do. So the only thing that Jesse and I knew what to do was to get as much ammo as we could and go help him we had ascendant long neck rifles and we had some shot we had a shotgun jesse had a shotgun i didn't have one but we, she, we got as much ammo as we could for it we got as much ammo for our long necks 
and uh, we got all kinds of arrows. We headed there, but by the time we got there, it had done killed majority of his tames. And that was the first time we had ever killed a Giga. That was the hardest thing that we have ever done on this game. By far. Yeah, apart from, apart from killing a Rex, that's about the second hardest one we did. Alpha Rex. Yeah, we took every bit of bullets, arrows we had to to make it go down. And the funny part is, is when we killed the thing, it decided to stick its head through the door and die in the door. It, yeah, and we were only like we were level... Like, uh, we yeah, we were only like level 30, 40 something when that Alpha Rex came up on us, so we didn't have much of anything. So we took advantage of it. It like broke our door down though. If it had got yeah, in, in there, we would have been dead. Break the door, but... yeah. Stupid bug! You can't even stay out of the video for one minute. Um, the first time Jesse and I went to Carnot Island, we were trying to tame a Ar um, yeah, Argentavis. We didn't know how hard it was there. So we thought we could go bibbity bop up there and try to get us an Argentavis. <laughs> but we bibbity bopped ourselves right back out of there as quickly as we went in. <laughs> Yeah. Quickly. Uh, very quickly. <laughs> um, right up here is a uh, forest peak. If you don't know, I'm sure most of you that's watching my that's gonna watch this video know uh, that this is forest peak. We when we lived here, it was before the Griffins were placed. Or were added a place. We sacrificed our lives many times here. Yeah, at least as long as my arm. <laughs> Longer than my arm, I should say. <laughs> By Allosaurus's, Rex's, uh, even scorpions. Might have even been a saber or two. Uh, saber, Smilodons, which are called saber tooth in this game, but their actual real name is Smilodons. Yep, and they're yeah, not tigers. Fish. They're not tigers. Okay. They're not tigers. They're actually more of a cousin to the, the lion. They're really not. I don't, yeah. I don't even really think they believe they were, they were a feline. But anyway, um, this place, just try to hang on. This place is, uh, sentimental to us in a couple of ways um first off is because it's the location of where our friends live nick blue and i think blue lives here and um white lives up there but i'm going to go ahead and land since she's crashed and then i'll start back and explain some more when we lived in this location uh we had we lived here and then let me try to kind of float up some. Right there, uh, close to that corner there, is where Boygan and Chuffa lived when they first started playing. Up on the hill, we had another friend named uh, Vishka and his girlfriend. Uh, just past where White lives is where they lived. I'm going to go ahead and float on by. Try to float up some. And this uh, middle mountain right here in the center there is the closest one to us. We had a friend named Hercules that lived there. And um, he actually uh, quit the game. He helped us a few times. We thought he might have been a, a, a jerk, but actually it was more of he was trying to stand his ground because there were some uh, people on here that was trying to manipulate him into giving him giving some stuff to him basically instead of actually giving a trade but uh because we never were rude to him because we always tried to be fair with him 
when he quit um and he, he gave to the people his stuff um he joined our tribe and what stuff was left he gave to us to help us along because we were so we were still really low level we were we were struggling um a, apart from that which is uh, one example dylan up here he recently had came back a few months ago and then he quit again but um he lived right here he actually is the one who showed us the location where nick now lives he helped us get here and um he gave us our first tape helped uh help we basically kind of like helped protect each other kind of but not long after we moved here he he um quit playing i don't know if he went pvp or or what but we decided um after we kept having so many problems with RJ Tavis's that we had to move. Yeah. Oh, I also want to note, this is where we got our first uh, pteranodons that we got really close to. Uh, one was purple, and it, we called her pretty pebbles. Yeah, he was, and she was black. the one that was sort of kind of like an orangey type of peach color, we called her tangerine. And those were our first two pteranodons that we had, and we got really close to them. But we ended up uh, trading them for something else. But, uh, yeah, those were our first ones that we got over here, and we had them over here with us. And it was our first pteranodons that we got attached to that we didn't have when we were talking about our uh, favorites. Those were our two favorite pteranodons that we had because they were cute, and we liked the names. Um. What actually we got? Actually, we got Pebbles and Tangerine at our first base. Uh, Tangerine was given to us by Inca. Oh, yeah. But we had we had just gotten them before we moved. They were like, yeah, like we we thought we were something with them suckers. Even though they didn't hardly go anywhere, we thought we were we were the I'm not going to say it. Because <laughs> I get on to Jesse about saying it all the time. But, but yeah, we, those were ones that we were attached to, though. Yeah, we were. We were very attached. But we had, we didn't have a lot of room for Tames, and we wanted Argentavises, and we had finally gotten them. So we had to, we had to get rid of them to make more room. Um, But as far as speaking about Dylan and Hercules, it was at that point that we realized that Everybody was, um, these, these two had given to us when we were in need that we wanted to basically pay it forward. So, um, when we found people who were in need, who were just starting out, um, we would give to them if, if they were, if they were legit trying to do for themselves. Let me put it like that, because we would not just give and give to people who were not trying. Yeah, it, it, it was a little rough starting out, so we, we knew exactly what they were going through because in this game, like we mentioned in the back, I mentioned uh, when we were at the snow park, this game is one of those survival games that they don't give you much information on how to do anything. You pretty much have to learn it yourself. Um, they teach you, like, the basis of how to use a tool or something like that. But, I mean, as far as taming and everything, or just going into the cave, you, you pretty much have to learn it by yourself. And I just crashed. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's I was getting up here and getting ready to stop. Yeah, and um, at that point, when, and both of these people that helped us, we know that they were very high level. We knew that we shouldn't... We shouldn't be greedy. We shouldn't be selfish on a game like this. We should help people who are much lower level than us. And help them get better. And enjoy the game. It's different if it's PvP. This is PvE. Don't take people down like that. Help bring them up too. Because that's the point of the game. It's a leisure game. Yeah. 
and um we made a lot of friends doing that a lot of good friends and i think i've seen a lot that of good because we've done that i've also seen other people do that i've uh but i've also seen other people that want to be mean but you play the game how you want to I play yeah. And I'm going to stop at Green Obelisk here. I had a few friends that was here at the Green Obelisk. Um, they moved to this location, but um, this is where we dealt with them the most. I'm not going to go into much depth. But one of the friends that we had, uh, she did join our tribe that lived, she lived here. Um, we're going to go ahead and move on to where we... Um, first lived which is right over here can you talk to Lauren yeah Uh, Lauren used to be in our tribe. She was. She's a good friend of, of uh, ours. I don't think Jesse is is still in uh, communications with her, but uh, I still talk to her on Instagram sometimes. But right up here in this little crevice is where Jesse and I built our first little huts trying to get up here I had to like get on to Jessie because um, she acted like it was some kind of privacy issue she started building her own little base right next to mine and I was like why do that whenever you could just build um we could just build one and live together, but it was no, it was no big deal. And it was also the very first, uh, location, um, that I found out that fairies were hostile. They wanted to give her a big hug. Yeah, and I didn't understand why it was attacking me and not her. Yeah. I guess it may crash, so I'm going to try and swoop by kind of quick. Uh, without having to, um, I may have to land anyway. But I'll try to get past. I want to see James's base one last time. There it yeah, is. Just James's base. Let's get on by so she can get back on. James will always be a good friend of ours. He's he's always helped us through things. Yeah, always. Oh yeah, a lot. <laughs> now Jesse's back on. We're gonna go ahead and fly this way. Um, Maury is uh, also a friend. We we haven't really been able to interact with her much, but from what I have seen and talked with her, she's a very sweet person. Trying to see. Let's, uh, we're still going in the right location. I was talking about the friends that we had at the Green Obelisk. Right here at this little lip here. This is where we first met them. Uh, this is where they started out. Lauren, if you've seen in the chat. Um, she's the one who joined our tribe. She lived on this little he lip here. Along with uh, Misanthropic Spy and a few others. But... Um, we were friends with them for a good while. Uh, Joe, we also met Joe here. He, I, th I think he might have lived here too. Where is James? James saying hello. Yeah, I saw that. I think he passed underneath us. Oh, okay. And farewell, Moon. 
Oh, he is. He's behind us. Um, right up here is Kids Base. Uh, he's also going to be one of the ones that is, uh, uh, James did a flyby. <laughs> I was trying to find him, but I couldn't find him until he was turned around. That's, that's kind of sad. But, oh, all of this stuff is gone. It finally decayed. That's sad. Dang. Yeah. Oh, wait. A little bitty piece. Or no, I'm not loading everything. That's what's wrong. I'm not loading everything either. I don't really want to re-log, but um, I know what I know it's here. So, kid also helped a lot, and we we became good friends. I hate that he never came back for whatever reason. I guess maybe he got too wound up with school, but maybe one day he'll come back to the server. And play again. And he was a good friend of ours also. Let's go ahead and... And there's one last place I want to touch before we head back. And it's Jesse's favorite place on the whole entire map. <laughs> so now I can see the base. This is our tree base. I think we've touched on it before. We never really lived here. Just let, We basically just built it in case we ever wanted to have a home away from home. Yep. And of course we had to paint it blue and green. Yeah, we had to paint it for child colors. And I guess now we're going to go ahead and get back to base. And uh, that's going to be... We'll do a few... I might have had in a few more things at the end here. But uh, that's going to be the end of the video.